Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make this exact animation in Blender, a fluid simulation with two different materials. It's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by switching from Blender Render to Cycles Render for better shading, and then click S to scale the default cube, and left click to confirm the scale. Then go into the object settings, and we're going to change the um, visibility of the cube from solid to wire. And the next step is to click Shift A to add a cylinder, which is going to be the inflow object for our uh, fluid simulation. So S then set to scale it on the set axis, and then S then set again to scale it on the set axis once again. And I'm going to go into edit mode and go to face select and select both faces, and then click N to increase the increase value to 1. And by increasing the mean cruise value for these two faces, they are going to stay flat when we subdivide the rest of the object. So uh, let's subdivide it three times on the render. And then I'm going to click G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And then G, then Y to grab the cylinder on the Y axis. Okay, and then we need to go into the uh, fluid settings. So uh, let's go to the physics and then click fluid and then change it to inflow because this is going to be the inflow object as you saw in the final animation and uh, let's change the inflow velocity to uh, minus one on the set axis if you want to make the object wider on the x and y axis just click s then shift set to scale it only on the x and y axis let's uh, turn uh, the uh, cube into a domain and then increase the resolution to about 150 if you have a fast computer and a little bit lower if you have a slow computer and uh, let's make a new folder for our first fluid simulation because we need to change between folders to be able to have two different materials in our final animation so what you basically need to do is to make a new folder somewhere on your computer I'm going to save it at the TMP folder and then make two new folders inside the new folder and um, each one of them is going to be a different fluid simulation so let's just make a uh, folder for both of them first so uh, let's call this one let's just call uh, this folder fluid and then select the new folder and then I'm going to make two new folders inside this folder so the first one is going to be the uh, blue fluid and then make a new folder again and this one is going to be the orange fluid it doesn't really matter you can change it to another color if you want but I'm going to have a blue color and an orange color and before you start baking the animation just make sure the uh, viscosity of the fluid is what you want it to be I'm going to uh, make it water and then bake the animation and after about an hour of baking I got this first animation Okay, so now we have the blue fluid, but uh, in order to have two different materials in the same uh, fluid animation, we have to uh, do a little trick to uh, kind of fool Blender into allowing two different domains. So uh, what we need to do is to delete this one, and then duplicate the domain. So uh, let's make a second domain. So click Shift D, and then left click. Now the new domain is going to have the same location. And then we need to add the uh, fluid simulation to the second domain. So make it into a domain. And then increase the resolution to 150 or whatever value you want to use. I am also going to change the viewport display mode to final so that you will see what it looks like from the beginning. And uh, then we need to find the old folder and select the orange. Okay, and then click accept, and uh, now we need to duplicate the inflow object as well. So I click Shift D to duplicate it, and I click Y to grab the duplication on the Y axis. And then left click to confirm the position. And then what I'm going to do next is to select the old inflow object and move it outside the domain. I'm going to click G, set, then 4, 
just uh, remember the value of 4 or whatever value you use to move it outside of the domain and then we need to select the uh, domain again and click bake to bake the new animation this is what it looks like after about an hour of uh, baking and uh, what I'm going to do next is to add the old bake so let's start off by moving the inflow object back to the domain so click G then set the minus 4 or whatever value you used on the set axis and then add a uh, fluid simulation for the old domain and then we need to select the uh, folder which is the old blue folder and uh, click accept so uh, now we tricked Blender into allowing two different fluid simulations inside the uh, same location and that also means that you can add two different materials to the uh, fluid. The only downside is that the uh, two flows of water do not interact with each other, but uh, it looks pretty good anyways. So let's select the uh, lamp, and I'm going to turn this lamp into a sun. So go into the lamp settings, then click sun, then increase the size to one, and then click use nodes, and I'm going to increase the strength to about seven. Click G to uh, grab the sun, and then I'm going to go into the world settings and increase the brightness of the world. So uh, I'm also going to change it to GPU, so if you don't have a GPU, that's okay. You can still use the CPU, but with a GPU, the uh, rendered view is going to be faster as well as the final render. You can switch back and forth between object mode and render view by clicking Shift Set. And now it's time to add the uh, material for the fluid. So it's going to be a glass material. And then the first material is going to be orange. So just uh, choose an orange color or whatever color you want to add. And uh, then we need to select the second fluid and delete the material. So uh, click minus to delete it and then add a new material. This one is also going to be a glass material but uh, the color is going to be blue so uh, I'm going to select kind of a light bluish color so uh, something like this then I might make the uh, orange a little bit more orange I think I might make the background a little bit lighter so uh, let's increase the uh, whiteness of the background and then uh, I'm going to start adding subdivision surface modifiers to the uh, different fluid inflows so uh, I'm just going to add two subdivisions for each of these and then smooth shading as well and uh, from that I think it looks good enough okay so now it's time to use the camera so click numpad 0 to see through the camera click shift F to use the fly cam and then move around with W A S and D you can also turn the gravity on and off by clicking tab. When it comes to the camera position and the uh, materials of the uh, scene, it doesn't really matter what you add, so you can just add whatever color and uh, camera position you want. And what I'm going to do next is to add the same material for the two inflow cylinders. So let's select it and then add the orange material for the orange inflow object. And then obviously you need to add the uh, blue material for the uh, blue inflow object. Right now the blue inflow cylinder is a little bit off so I'm just going to go to the top view and click G then shift set to move it on the X and Y axis to give it the right position. And uh, what I'm going to do next is to adjust the uh, colors a little bit to find the color I want. So now you can just uh, perfect the uh, colors of the scene and then prepare for the final render. Okay, so uh, now I'm done with the colors and I'm going to go into the render settings. So click the camera icon to go into the render settings. And uh, let's increase the resolution quality to 100%. Change the frame rate to 30. And I'm going to make a folder for the final render. So uh, make a folder on your computer, give it a name, then select the folder. I'm going to call the animation Toots and then click enter. Then we need to scroll down and go into the sampling. I'm going to increase the render samples to about 250, which I think uh, looks okay. 
and in Blender 2.79 and later you also have a denoising feature which is useful if you want less noise in your render so uh, let's just see what the uh, render looks like in different frames and make a test render okay so uh, let's click render and see what it looks like and after a few minutes of rendering this is what it looks like and I think it looks great so now we can finally start the uh, animation and the rendering of the animation if you want to you can see through the uh, animation and uh, make sure everything is okay especially with the uh, fluid physics but uh, I think it looks great so uh, let's just pause and see what it looks like in rendered view and then to start the animation you just need to scroll up to the top and click animation and after about 20 hours of rendering this is what the final animation looks like if you want to take your blender skills to the next level you can also get the great tank course made by me which is available at udemy.com so thanks for watching and subscribe